Hi, in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as breast cancer classification using CNN with transfer learning models which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. Before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project. The breast cancer is a major concern all over the world affecting millions of women every year. So yearly detection and accurate detection of breast cancer plays a major role in medical health care system. So we should have a scientific approach for detecting this. So existing systems use manual clinical procedures which leads to human errors and further delay in the treatment procedures. So in this paper the authors have proposed a model for the breast cancer classification which uses inception v3 algorithm so this in this paper the authors have implemented using the matlab so we are not going to use matlab we are going to implement this using python and we are not going to use as mentioned in the base paper so as our proposed model in this project so we are going to implement the deep learning model densenet 201 architecture so this is our proposed algorithm or model which is going to be implemented in the project and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 96 percentage and the validation accuracy that we have achieved is 89 percentage So here you can see the IEEE base paper title is breast cancer classification using CNN with transfer learning model or you can use our proposed project title that is advancing breast cancer diagnosis deep learning for accurate tumor classification using DenseNet 201. So this is the IEEE base paper and this is our proposed uh, abstract so which contains about the project which utilizes the DenseNet 201 architecture model and also here you can see the data set that we have used is break his 400x data set so which is breast cancer histopathological 400x data set so which has been referred from Kaggle this data set contains around 1693 microscopic biospy images which contains both benign and malignant breast tumors so this is going to be trained up with DenseNet architecture and we are going to classify it. So this is the abstract of the project and this is the existing system. So which was used in the base paper that is inception v3 model and the disadvantages of the existing system. And here we have the proposed system which uses the DenseNet 201 architecture. And this is the this all of the advantages of the proposed system. And here comes the system architecture which uses the breakers 400x data set pre-processing and feature selection is made and DenseNet 201 architecture has been trained up and predicted result with the breast cancer classification and performance analysis and graph has been used. So here in the software requirements you can check that we have developed using Python 3.10.9 and this is the reference of it. So now let us see the data set part. So in the model folder can see this break is 400x where you can see the test and train folders in the train folder will be having two classes that is uh, benign and malignant so in benign folder you can find the data set which is around 371 and in malignant you can check about 777 images is available so these are all the images that we have been trained up the system which contains class benign and this is the malignant part so in earlier system or uh, in the existing system they have many people have used the machine learning model which in which they have not used any images so they have given the input as the data or uh, data set like uh, area perimeter like kinds of things and even in our channel we have uh, already done a project with the machine learning model but in deep learning there is no more works developed on it so this is going to be a proposed model of the project 
and this is the data set that we are going to train up with so before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirement file with the exact version of python and the library is installed in your system so now let us see the execution of the project so just copy the source code location go to your command prompt now first go to the drive location where you have pasted the code so in my case i have pasted my code in f drive so just type ef here and go into the f drive location now type cd space and paste the location that i have copied and just click enter so now we are into the source code location now type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes so now after some time you can see this url just copy this url go to any of your browser i'm going to firefox and just paste the url that we have copied so now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title breast cancer classification using cnn with transfer learning models now just click this login menu so now it will be navigated to the login page so kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click this login button so now you can see the login success message and click ok now it will be navigated to the preview part where you need to upload the test case or the image that you wanted to check up with so kindly note that here many students ask me that what happens if you are giving that other images for example if your own image or if you are giving an uh, animal image or any other images that we are not trained up with so not the case of our project so so what happens is like it gives a random result only because we are not trained up we cannot train up all the images into the model so the model becomes very big so it takes more time for building the model so in this more project we can we can only give the images that you have trained up with in case if you are giving some other images so it shows only the random result so now let me click the browse button and go into the project source code location so in the source code folder you can find the test data where you have the two cases that is benign and malignant so I'll show you with the both the cases. So now let me give an image and you can preview the image and then click submit. So now you can see the predicted result of it. So this is the image that we are given and you can see the predicted result is benign. So once if you wanted to check with the other image, just you can click this preview part again. So it will be navigated to the preview page where you can select the browse and if you can I'll go to the other case that is malignant and I'll select an image and then click submit. So you can see the result that is predicted result is malignant. So now let me go to the preview part again. So you can check with the other cases that is given in the benign and malignant. Also you can check with the data set part that we have trained up with so now let me go to the model folder break his 400x where you can find the test and train folders let me go to the train folder and let me select a random image and now let me click submit and now you can see the predicted result is benign so in this way i'll check the other case in the train folder i'll go to the malignant and randomly i will pick up an image and then click submit so now you can see the predicted result is malignant so the cases which i have checked it is showing the results exactly perfectly so in the in this way you can also check with the other images that is given in the test and train folders so i cannot show you with all the images it takes more time so you can check with the other cases also so now let me move to the next part that is the performance analysis part so just click this performance analysis so here in the performance analysis you can see the performance analysis parameter like accuracy precision recall and f pressure values so accuracy is 8 0 0.8 that is 89 percentage precision value is 92 and recall is 89 percentage f pressure is 89 
and here you can see the confusion matrix from the performance analysis part accuracy precision recall f measure and the confusion matrix so in the confusion matrix you can see the confusion matrix with the true and the predicted label with the both the case that is benign and malignant part and final comes the chart part so once if you click this chart this, this chart will be loaded and kindly note that this is a static chart this is not a dynamic chart this reminds the same for any input that you are giving because this chart is being depicted from the data set that we have trained up with so this data set that we have trained up with contains around 60 percent of benign and 40 percentage of malignant data so that is being depicted here so that's what i mentioned you that this is a static chart and now let me log out and this is all about the project breast cancer classification using CNN with transfer learning model and thank you for watching.